Romeo, Romeo, why is your name Romeo? Let's change our names, then we can love. In a moonlit garden, in the beautiful city of Verona, a boy listens to a girl on a balcony. It is the beginning of one of the most famous love stories in the world. But Juliet is a Capulet and Romeo is a Montague. Their families have hated each other for hundreds of years. Can true love survive? We would like to present the stage production of one of the Shakespeare-based love plays, Romeo and Juliet. In the beautiful city of Verona, there are two families who hate each other. When Romeo from the, from the Montagues and Juliet from the Capulets fall in love, it creates problems for everyone. Friar Lawrence, kind and optimistic, tries to help the young lovers. But there are also other people in Verona, such as Tybalt, such as Tybalt, who wants to destroy the peace of the city. True love has to fight to survive. Street in Verona, Italy. Some of Lord Montecchi and Lord Capulet's servant are fighting and screaming. In the beautiful city of Verona, there are two families the Capulets and the Montaquis, they hate each other. They have hated each other for hundreds of years. One day, the servants begin to fight in the streets. Then Lord and Lady Montaqui arrive. Soon, everyone is fighting. It's very dangerous. At last, the prince arrives. He's very angry. In the beautiful city of Verona, there are two families, the Montecchis and the Capulets. They hate each other. They have hated each other for hundreds of years. One day, the servants begin to fight in the street. Then Lord and Lady Montecchi arrive. Soon everyone is fighting. At last, the prince arrives. He's very angry. Let me go, Capula, the old criminal. Criminal, old, I will kill you. <laughs> stop, Capula, Montecchi, stop it immediately. Silva, Benvolio, why are you fighting? Look, Verona is a rich and beautiful uh, town but they're fighting in the streets nearly every day. You have to stop or else there won't be peace here. Yes, how yes, sir. How did this fight start? I can't remember, sir. The, fire, the argument started a long time ago, sir. You have to tell your families to stop or else there won't be Verona. The prince is right, Napoleon. I know he's right. I was trying to keep the peace. But then Tybalt and others arrived. 
Have you seen Arsene Romilo? He was in the fight. I'm very happy about that. I saw him uh, earlier today, about four o'clock in the morning, and still dark. He was walking alone through the woods. What's the matter with Romilo? He is very quiet these days. Can you talk to him and volume? Yes, I'll talk to him. Look, he's here. Romeo, what's the matter with you? I'm in love with a beautiful girl called Rosaline. Then why are you upset? Because she doesn't love me. She doesn't love anyone. She said that she's never going to marry. There are hundreds of beautiful girls in Verona. If she doesn't love you, forget about her. I can do it. Rosaline is the most wonderful girl in the world. Uh, I will never love anyone else. A street in Verona, Lord Capulet and Paris are talking. Paris has something to tell Lord Capulet, who already knows that Paris loves his daughter Juliet. Well, my in fact, Paris would like to marry Juliet. Paris, my daughter is very unhappy. Paris, my daughter is very young. I don't want her to marry yet. You must wait for a year or two. Juliet doesn't really know you. But I love her. Paris loves Juliet. Paris is sure that if Juliet marries him, she will be very happy. Paris, I'm having a party this evening. Juliet will be there too. Come to the party, enjoy yourself. You can talk to Juliet. Perhaps she will like you, perhaps not. Remember, she is very young. Here are their names. I would like them all to come. But I can't read. What shall I do? I know. I ask someone to read for me. Excuse me, sir. Can you read out this name for me? I have to ask all these people to come to Lord Capulet Park tonight. Uh, Martino and his wife and daughters, Valentino and his cousins, Lucio, Tybalt, uh, Livia, Rosaline. Rosaline, then Volio, we must go to the Capulet's party. But Romeo, Capulet and your father are enemies. That doesn't matter, I must see Rosaline. Lady Capulet is talking to Juliet. Juliet is 14 years old. She has an old nurse who looks after her. Tell me, Juliet, how old are you now? She's nearly 14, aren't she, my dear? That's right. My 14th birthday is in two weeks. Have you thought about marrying, my dear? A husband for Juliet? How exciting. Marrying? No, I've never thought about it. Well, you must think about it now. A young man wants to marry you. His name is Paris. He's young, rich, and good-looking. He's a friend of the Prince of Verona. I, I want you to try very, very hard to love him. But I don't know him. That doesn't matter. You'll meet him this evening at the party. You will like him, I'm sure. He will be a wonderful husband for you, my dear. <laughs> Romeo, Ben 
Carvalho and Mercure show are going to the party. They are all wearing masks. It is very dangerous for the Montaquis to be in the Capulet's house. Everybody is going to dance tonight. More lights, more drinks. Musicians, play louder. You are going to have a wonderful party. Who are these men who have just come in? I can see their faces because they're wearing masks. I don't know who they are. It doesn't matter. They look friendly. Give me another drink. Oh, why can't I be young again? Shall we dance? Dance? Don't be stupid, Capulet. You're too old. You haven't danced for 20 years. Come and sit for a while. Don't you want to dance, Mario? No, you can dance if you want for the future. I'll wait here. I must meet her. I will go and talk to her when she stops dancing. Uncle Capulet, this man is not taking. Which man? The man who came in a few minutes ago, over there. The man who is wearing a mask. I know his voice. His name is Romeo and he is a Montague. I'm going to kill him. No Tybalt. The Capulet and the Montagues must not fight anymore. The Prince of Verona told us to stop fighting. Don't you remember? Romeo is a good man and you mustn't hurt him. Do you understand? All right, uncle, but I'm very angry. He was wrong to come here. I don't know your name. I saw you just a few minutes ago. Uh, I want to talk to you, but I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. <laughs> uh, I've never seen anyone as beautiful as you. Can I hold your hands? But I don't know you. Yes, of course, you can hold my hand. If our hands can touch, our lips can touch too. <laughs> Juliet, where are you? Oh, there you are, my dear. Your mother wants you. Come with me. Who is her mother? Her mother is the lady of the house. She's married to the Lord Capulet. This is terrible. Lord Capulet is my father's enemy. I love Juliet, but we can never meet again. Nurse, what's that young man's name? Over there, the one who's leaving. If he has a wife, I'll die unmarried. His name is Romeo. He's a Montaki, the only son of a famous great enemy. My only love, a hated Montaki. What was that? Come on, Juliet, your mother is waiting. <laughs> Ben 
Romeo, Mercutio, and Romeo are outside the house in the garden. Romeo is hiding from the others. Come on, Mercutio. It's late. Let's go home. Where's Romeo? I saw him a few minutes ago. Romeo, Romeo, come on, forget about the Rosalind, forget about that, come with us. In the dark garden, Romeo suddenly sees a light. Juliet is standing on her balcony. She begins to speak to the night. She does not know that Romeo is listening. It's easy for him to laugh. He's never been in love. I must be near Juliet. I love her. Uh, oh, it is the east and Juliet is the sun. Oh, Romeo, what's in the name? You're a Montaki and I'm a Capulet. They're just names. They don't mean anything. Why are our families enemies? I love you, and that's the only thing that matters. You're right, Juliet. Uh, call me Roth, not Romeo. I know that voice. Romeo, what are you doing here? If my cousin finds you here, he'll kill you. Uh, I'm not... Uh... I'm not afraid uh, of the Capulet sword. Uh, uh, tell me uh, when we can be together, together for the rest of our lives. Oh, Romeo, you've already heard me say it. I love you. Do you love me? Perhaps I love you too much. Perhaps it's wrong to say so openly that I love you. Lady, I love you and I'll always love you. Tell me when we can be together, together for the rest of our lives. Juliet, Juliet. Oh, Romeo, I must go. Listen, if you really want to marry me, I send, I'll send my nurse to you tomorrow. Tell me when and where to meet you. And I follow you, my lord, anywhere in the world. Good night, my love. Good night to Juliet. I will go and talk to the priest, Father Lawrence. I'll ask him to marry us secretly without telling our families. Romeo goes to father, uh, Leverence, he's working in the, is, Ro Romeo, uh, Romeo is working, <laughs> I use these flowers to make medicines. The medicines are good, but they can be dangerous, so I make them very, very carefully. Good morning, Romeo. It's very early. What's the matter? Can't you sleep? No, I can't, Father Lawrence. I'm in love and, then and I need your help. You're in love with Rosaline, aren't you? Rosaline? No, Father. I never think about her now. I'm in love with Juliet, Lord Capulet's daughter. That's very sudden. Does she love you? Yes, she does. We want to marry and we want to do it today. But we have to do it secretly without telling fam uh, our families. I'm not sure. Your families aren't enemies. Our enemies, aren't they? Uh, yes, they are, but that's not important to me or Juliet. Hmm, wait a minute. If you two marry, maybe the arguments will finish and your family will be friends. Yes, I'll help you. Come to uh, this afternoon with Juliet and I will marry you. Thank you, Father. Mercutio and Benvolio are talking. Mercutio, where are you? Mercutio! 
Mercutio, have you seen Romeo today? No, he's not interested. He's, he's only interested in love. Oh. Tybalt saw him at the party last night. I'm not he's afraid. Angry at, at, with him. I'm not afraid of, of Tybalt. Here comes Romeo now. Here comes Romeo. I can see him. Romeo, don't you want to spend time with us? No, I'm not in love with Rosalind. Where were you? Thank you, thank you. I'm not, a, I'm, not, I'm not in love with Rosalind. Tibalt saw you at the party, he's angry at you. But Tibalt is a capulet, the capulets are my friends. Your friends? What, what do, do you mean? mean? Uh, Excuse me, I'm looking for Romeo. Lord Montagisson, do you know him? This is Romeo. Oh, isn't he good looking? I want to talk to you, Romeo, alone, please. Juliet asked me to find you, she loves you really much, you know. Uh, I, and I love her too. Uh, I, I've talked to the priest, Father Lawrence, and he said that he's going to marry us secretly without telling uh, our families uh, in the afternoon. Uh, don't worry, my dear. They want her to marry Paris, but she doesn't like him. And he's not as good looking as you. Uh, don't forget to tell her this afternoon at Father Lawrence's house. <laughs> Father Lawrence's house. Juliet will be here very soon. I will be very happy when we are married. Listen, Romeo, you only love, uh, you only know Rosaline for a few weeks. Remember, if you will marry Juliet, you need to stay with her and love her for the rest of your life. Yes, I understand. I will always love her. The nurse told me to meet you here. She said that Father Lawrence would marry us. And I will. Come with me. A busy street in Verona. Some people are walking along the street. Mercutio and Benvolio are talking. It's hot today, isn't it? 
I don't like this water. Paul gets angry when it's hot. Look, it's the calculus over there. Don't make any trouble. I'm not afraid of Tiba. Where is Romeo? He's your friend, isn't he? That's not the business. I'm looking for him and going to find him. Tybalt, I'm not your enemy. The Capulets and the Montekis are going to be good friends. Something wonderful has happened. Why won't you fight with him? Well, I will fight. Come on. Stop it, you two! Don't fight. Don't remember what Prince Escalus said? Then Volio, help me to stop them. Stop it. I'm sorry, my pusher. I, I want you to help. Tebat, come back. You have killed my friend. Now I'm going to kill you. Oh, that's terrible, Romeo. You have to run away. Prince finds you here. He'll kill you. Oh no, what have I done? Romeo is hiding in the Father Lawrence house. Romeo, where are you? It's me, Father Lawrence. What did Prince Escalus say? Am I going to die? No, killing Tibal was wrong, but she's not going to execute you. But you need to leave Verona immediately. This is terrible. Living without Juliet is worse than dying. Uh, you, listen, Romeo, you are lucky. The prince has been kind to you. 
But it doesn't matter, I can't live without Juliet. I'm happy to see a nurse. Have you been with Juliet? Yes, I saw her a few minutes ago, crying and shaking, just like Romeo here. Uh, but I killed her cousin. Does she still love me? Yes, of course she does. She sends you this link. Romeo, you can uh, visit Juliet tonight, but then you must leave Verona. Uh, uh, I, uh, I will say, in the future, I will say that uh, you and Juliet are married. Perhaps the uh, prince will uh, uh, come. Uh, yes, father, how long have I stayed in Mantua? Uh, you will stay there if... Uh, I, uh, I'm not sure. You need to wait to my uh, message I'll send you. Capulet and Paris are talking. Paris, my daughter is very unhappy. Her cousin Tebald died this morning. Lord Montecchi's son killed him. Paris is sorry to hear that and he wants to talk to Juliet. Not at this moment, Paris. She's in her room. It's very late and she needs to rest. Listen, I have just thought of something. I want Juliet to forget about Tebald's death. I think that she will be happy when she marries. I know that you love Juliet and you would like to marry her. The two of you must marry as soon as possible. What day is it today? It's Monday night. Right, the wedding will be on Thursday. That's wonderful. Paris is very happy about the wedding. Go and tell Juliet what I, ha what I have decided, my dear. We must hurry. Don't forget Paris. The wedding will be on Thursday. Paris promises not to forget. Sorry, my love, but I have to go. Look outside. It's nearly morning. Please, don't say that. I want you to stay with me. You're my husband now. You needn't go. You know that I have to go. If anyone finds me here, the prince will execute me. I'm going to stay in Mantua. Uh, Father Lawrence is going to talk to our families and to the prince. Then I'll be back soon. I hope so, Romeo, my love. Oh, you're already out of bed? It's very early. I know, I can't sleep. Oh, you're still very unhappy about your cousin Tybalt. Don't worry, my dear. We'll find Romeo. And when we find him, he'll die. And now I have some exciting news. Your father said that you and Paris will marry, and the wedding will be on Thursday. I can't marry Paris. It's just not possible. What do you mean? Have you told her the news? 
Yes, but she says she won't marry Paris. What? Why not? Listen, Juliet. Paris is a good, kind man. He is a friend of the princess. He is an important man too. You are a very lucky girl. Father, listen. I know you are trying to help me, but I will never marry Paris. I don't love him. I don't even know him. That doesn't matter. You will marry him on Thursday. Do you understand? This is terrible. What shall I do? They don't know that I've married Romeo. Listen, my dear. Your father and mother are right. Romeo is in Montua. Perhaps you'll never see him again. Paris is a kind man and good looking too. Marry him. Forget about Romeo. That's the best thing to do. <laughs> I will never listen to my nurse again. I thought she would help me, but she can't. I'm going to see Father Lawrence. Perhaps he can help me. in the Father Lawrence house. What, on Thursday? That's in two days. He knows that, but he's very excited. He's loved Juliet for a long time and soon they will be married. But you don't know her very well. It's too soon. But Juliet's father has already decided. Paris is very happy. Good morning, Paris. Hello, Julia, my love. Paris says that she will soon be his wife. Perhaps. I've come to talk to the priest. Paris wonders if she's going to tell Friar Lawrence how much she loves him. I've, com I've come to talk to him alone. Paris, can you leave us, please? Paris agrees to leave them alone. He says goodbye to Juliet. He's happy because they will be married soon. What shall I do? I want to die. You need to marry Paris. That's the only thing. Father, listen. I will never marry Paris. I love Romeo. He's my husband. If you tell me to marry him, I'll kill myself. I just thought of something. What's that? Is it poison? Will you kill me? No, it's not poison, but it's a very strong medicine. If you drink this, anyone who drinks this will sleep very deeply for two days. What do you want me to do? Uh, I want you to drink this night before your wedding and uh, you will sleep very deeply for two days. Mm -hmm. Everyone think, everyone will think that you, are, that you are dead. What will happen then? Then they will put your, uh, your they will put you in your family stomp next to your cousin Tybalt. Uh, later you will, uh, later you will run away and uh, with Romeo, and you will never come. Yes, Father, I'll do it. I'll do anything to be with Romeo. Thank you, Father. The Capulet's house, Lord and Lady Capulet, the servants, the, se the nurse servants and goose are all moving around busily. Go and ask all our friends to the wedding. Go and find the best cooks in Verona. 
This will be a very special wedding. Where is Juliet? She's with the prize sir. She will be back soon. Oh, there she is. She looks very happy. I'm very sorry, father. What? You told me to marry Paris and you are right. I'm not going to cry anymore. He's the right man for me. I'm sorry that I didn't agree at first. This is wonderful news. Oh, I am so happy. Listen, everyone. The wedding will be tomorrow morning. Go, go and tell Paris. Tomorrow? Yes. But tomorrow is Wednesday. You said that the wedding will be on Thursday. We won't be ready tomorrow. That doesn't matter. Juliet and Paris must marry as soon as possible. Hurry, hurry. Nobody will sleep tonight. We are all going to be too busy. Nurse, go and help Juliet with her wedding dress. wearing her wedding dress. Lady Caplet and nurse are with her. You look beautiful, my dear. You need to rest. It's very late. Good night, my dear. Good night. They think that I'm going to marry Paris tomorrow, but they are wrong. When I drink this, I'll fall asleep. They think I'm dead. Oh, I'm so afraid. I won't wake up for two days. When I wake up, I'll be in a tomb with dead bodies around me. But I must do it. Romeo will come and find me and we'll be together again. It is early in the morning, and the and Lord and Lady Capulet, the nurse, servants, and cooks are all moving around busily. Bring those flowers over here. Hurry up, there isn't much time left. Why don't you go to bed, sir? It's very late. I can't sleep, I'm too excited. My daughter is going to marry Paris in the morning. 
after the wedding we are going to have um, a party. It will be the best party I have ever had. Paris will be here soon. Go and wake the Juliet up. I can hear music. Paris is coming with his musicians. Help, help! What's the matter? She's dead! Oh no, Juliet, my only child. Please wake up. Oh no, she's cold. She's dead. Paris comes to take Juliet to the church. Oh no, she was our only child. Now our lives are empty. We'll never be happy again. Paris can't believe that Juliet is dead. This is the worst day of his life. Juliet is dead? I'm so lonely without Juliet. I must. I uh, want go. I want to go back to Verona, but I can't go back yet. I must wait until Father Lawrence sends me a message. I will uh, hear some news soon. I hope. Uh, did Father Lawrence send you? No, but I've got some news. It's bad news. I'm afraid Juliet is dead. I saw them put her body in the capillet tomb yesterday. What? I must go back. I must find out what has happened. Wait. Don't go back yet. Wait until Father Lawrence sends some news. No, I'm going back to Verona. Uh, uh, leave me alone. If Juliet is dead, I want uh, to be dead too. I'm going, uh, I'm going to see Juliet once more and then I'm going, uh, to, uh, and then I'm going to die. I, ma I need some poison, where I can find some poison. I remember seeing a shop near here. Where is it? Here it is. You, you sell medicines, don't you? Yes, sir. Uh, I, need, uh, I need some poison. It must be strong. Do you understand? Uh, sir, I sell medicines to help people, not poison to kill them. Here, I will give you as much gold as you want. Uh, you look poor and hungry. Yes, sir, I am. I have some poison, but it's very dangerous. Anyone who drinks this will die immediately. But I can't sell it to you. It's a crime. If I send it, this poison to you, I will be in trouble. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone that it came from your shop. Here, take all my gold. I don't need it. Where is Romeo? I've got the message from him. It's from Father Lawrence. It's very important. Romeo? Romeo? Oh no, he's not here. near the Capulet's tomb. It's a very large tomb with a big heavy door. Paris is sad. He loves Juliet more than anyone else in the world. He wanted her to be his wife, but now she's dead. He's going to come to her tomb every night. And then suddenly he hears a noise. Someone is coming. Juliet, I must see your sweet face again. Uh, who are you? Uh, uh, who are you? Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Juliet, 
Juliet, my love, my wife. Uh, even if you're dead, uh, you are still beautiful. Uh, uh, let it be our last kiss. So with a kiss, I die. Juliet will wake up very soon. Romeo, where's Romeo? Mary took a message to him. The door is open. What, what's happened? Father Lawrence, good to see you. Where's Romeo? Juliet, something terrible has happened. Romeo is lying next to you, dead. And... <laughs> uh, quickly, get out of the tomb. If anyone finds us here, there will be trouble. No, father. I want to be with Romeo. Romeo. My love, what's happened to you? He killed himself. Well, I want to die too. I can't live without him. Romeo, perhaps there is still poison on their lips. If I kiss you, perhaps I'll die too. I'm still alive, but I want to die. I'm not afraid of death anymore. Just a few days ago, Romeo married Juliet. I married them secretly because their families were enemies. Juliet didn't want to marry Paris, so I told her to take a special medicine. She wasn't dead, she was asleep. But they killed themselves. Lord Montekis, please come here. It all happened because you were enemies. Romeo, Juliet, they're all dead. Sir, our arguments have finished. We are friends now and we will never fight again. We will build a statue of Romeo and Juliet. It will be made of gold. Perhaps the Verona will be peaceful now. And the legends of Romeo and Juliet will live forever. Now. The Capulets, who hated Montakis, who hated Capulets. There were some angry words in Verona, blood running in the streets. But after the death of a boy and a girl, their love lived on to change the world. And so does the love of all the Romeos and all of the Juliets.